everybody, I'm in Bush Gardens, Tampa, Florida, behind me. Super scary. We're here tonight for Hollow Scream. Hollow Scream Tampa opened last night. Hollow Scream SeaWorld opened last night as well. A link to our Hollow Scream SeaWorld experience can be found up above. But we're here tonight as regular guests. We do have some preferred seating for fiends later on that we're anxious to see. We won't be filming in the houses. We will be checking out the scare zones. There's three new houses at Bush Gardens this year and three new scare zones. What do you think about that? Now before we get going with the rest of our Hollow Scream goodness tonight, this guy behind us belongs to Voodoo Scare Zone, which is formerly just tied to Deathwater Bayou. And we just did a backstage tour of Deathwater Bayou. You can check out that video right here. Hey everybody, we're at Bush Gardens. We're about to do a behind the scenes tour of A House for Hollow Screen. Are you excited? <laughs> We're walking over to Deathwater Bayou. That's the house that we're going to go behind the scenes. We're only allowed to take pictures in one of the rooms. Deathwater Bayou modified this year because it's been overrun by werewolves. And behind us is where all the voodoo people went to. Making our way to the bayou today. Oh. Pictures through the houses. Look at the house. Not a soul in front of us. Right? Being on the side of the highway, you're like, heck yeah, I'm in New Orleans. I'm gonna go try that out. Or anything like that, go check those out. The best room right. is best. back to real time. If you guys are interested in those tours, Bush Gardens offers them as an upcharge to your Hollow Scream experience. I think it runs about 30 bucks for the one house. Back this year at Hollow Scream are these mold matics It's a skull. Jess is making one. Hollow Scream technically opens at 7 p.m. But since we were in the park already, we scanned our tickets. They give you a bracelet for kind of like a park-wide stay and scream. And of course, it wouldn't be 2021 if it wasn't raining when we were at a haunted event. It's six o'clock and the fog has started. Cell block zombies. So we have almost an hour to go before we can get into this house, but there's a line formed already. So in former years, we used to always do Fright Feast or Fright Fest, Fright Feast, Fright Feast, before the park would close and turn over to Hollow Screen. Fright Feast always included all-you-could-eat meal and soft drinks, and also front-of-the-line access for like 90 minutes before everybody else was in the park. They did away with that this year because of COVID, or at least that's the word. Quite honestly, front of the line passes tonight alone are $89 a piece. So I'm not sure I would want to sell Fright Feast anymore if you can get that type of money out of people for just front of the line. And full disclosure, Bush Gardens invited us out as media with free VIP for the night, but we actually turned that down because we had tickets already. Cell block zombies. It's prisoners. That are zombies. Prison zombies. Is there anything worse than that? Fast food zombies? All right, 
streets and one house down. That really kind of felt like half of a house. The whole first part was really kind of empty. Not a lot of scares at all. Did you like it? At least we started off with that. It's gonna go up from here. Heading into the voodoo zone. Exactly. It's gonna be my sacrifice this time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. I got some, I got some band-aids and some beer. Both. Cowhead man. This is you do by you. Come with me. Come, we go cow tipping. Oh yeah. Let's do it. We're gonna go to the kid into the cow after we tip it over. Oh, that sounds good to me. Then we eat the cow. Hamburgers and steaks. And then we wear the cow. And then you two will look like me. What about the beer? You'll be prettier. Oh. Well, you. Yeah, you lost me on that one. I mean, <laughs> wow, the theming for the voodoo zone is remarkable. So lifelike. And now, Death Water Bayou, Blood Moon. All right, we've already used our single use front of the line pass from the backstage tour today because this line is enormous. Heading in. So, Death Water Bayou, I thought it was. A lot of fun with the wolves. Oh yeah. Great addition. Headed okay. back towards the front of the park. Junkyard is back. This was amazing last year. That's where my luggage went. Ah, oh, the old photo op. Oh, dead fall. Keep moving. I don't care. Keep moving. What are you looking at? <laughs> 
I can't tell you how much I love that junkyard. All of the goodies from years past. So freaking cool. Iron Guazi announced it's gonna be opening March 2022. 2022. I'm missing this year. A scare zone in this beautifully set area. Normally the lighting is gorgeous, but nothing here this year. It's really weird, but Iron Guazi. All lit up. Oh, it looks like there are some roaming clowns. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> ah, fiends! Festival stage is over here this way. Whoopsies! Whoa, what is that? <laughs> Do you want it? Sure! <laughs> We're gonna brave the line and go in the Witch of the Woods. And it is a rather long line. Heading into the Witch in the Woods. The Witch in the Woods. What's this house? The Witch in the Woods. The Witch in the Woods. Getting their steps in. So the Witch in the Woods was a super long house. Inside, outside, inside, outside. I thought it was like one of the best as oh, I've ever seen at Hollow Screen. Oh my god, yeah. Tons of actors. I love the stilt guys. Yeah, stilt guys. A lot of man is bush. Oh, people bush people on the floor and even one in the tree. It's yeah. crazy. And they get you when you come out. Yeah, nuts. <laughs> All right, heading into Fiends. All right, we're going to the bar. We've got our VIP tickets that we paid for for Fiends. But we're going to get a witch's brew. So we got our seats for Fiends that included one complimentary drink. By the way, Jess, 21 years old now. Let that sink in, everybody. Well, cheers. <laughs> Look at the stage. Impressive. You patch maroon. <laughs> but don't worry, Doc. I'll get her fixed up for you. I'm not gonna let anything ruin your reunion with your friends. Oh, finally, a friends reunion that does not require a subscription to HBO Max. I always preferred Peacock. <laughs> okay, but well, we have no time to waste. Hey, Doc. This one's looking a little bit horny. Well, that's because that's the Loki variant. What about this one? The Delta variant. Well, hey, baby, you are free to room about my cabin any day. Can I take you up to my cockpit? No, Igor, please. Now listen, Doc, I'm not saying I'm not satisfied with the menu because, come on, uh, but just give me a little something for everybody. It's all what I'm looking for. Something so putrid, so negative, so vile, that you can't help but be repulsed by it. Tucker Carlson! How dare you!
right now. Did you like Fiends? Yeah, Fiends. Fiends was awesome this year. Man is Bush. Oh. Oh. Heading into another scare zone. Oh. Oh. Forgotten. Three minutes later. <laughs> so I forgot about the Forgotten's name. Uh, the Forgotten. Wow. It's uh, it's literally like an S and M house. Like there's bondage in there and sex toys and all kinds of stuff hanging on the wall and like a woman moaning. Lots of moaning. A lot of leather. A lot of leather. Um, not really a vampire story that I've seen before. Well, I've asked, but yeah. 
There's a fine line between being sexy and sexist. Just ask Nigel. Well, so what? But what's wrong with being sexy? I mean, there's no sexist. What did you think about the house? Kind of weird. Was it scary? No, there was one guy that got me. Oh. Yeah, we went okay. first. One right by the alley. We've got a special guest here, too. What did you think about the house? Um, not worth the weight that's, that we're currently looking at. Um, very strange. I felt like you had to be an adult to go through that house. Probably on ecstasy. Or that. There's probably plenty of it here. The skeleton crew. <laughs> I hope so. You're going to get that soon. There they are. Yeah. We have monsters here. Crash test zombies are back. And secure all those articles, such as pets, cameras, and glasses. All cars must travel in a one-way direction. Oh my god! <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh god! <laughs> we gonna get Adrian? Oh! <laughs> uh, oh! Oh! <laughs> oh, 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 into the wall. <laughs> oh, oh, subscribe to Lost TV. <laughs> Young zombies in love. Heading to toys. Deadly toys.
The shortcut. Well, it is almost 2.30 in the morning and we're finally back from Bush Gardens and Hollow Scream. Um, back to back Hollow Scream nights, SeaWorld and then Bush Gardens. And uh, I was really enchanted uh, by the siren song, pun intended, uh, at SeaWorld yesterday. Um, the Bush Gardens Hollow Scream, we love Hollow Scream there. Um, the Witches, or The Witch in the Woods was really good. The Vampire House was weird. Um, there's only five houses at Hollow Scream in Bush Gardens this year. In the past, they've had more than that. I think they've had eight houses historically, but, um, you know, no Scarlet this year, no Motel Hell, so The Witch in the Woods kind of took the space for Motel Hell. Um, no black spot that's where the uh, black spot pieces were shipped over to Orlando for use in their captain's house in in uh, Hollow Scream at SeaWorld um, and the vampire house is over where um, the black spot was previously I think the biggest feedback that I have for people that are heading to Hollow Scream in Bush Gardens is that the scare zones in my opinion are better than the houses um, there's some real treats in the scare zones, uh, more so than the houses, and the other piece is um, we did Tonight Without Express, um, and we skipped um, the residence house, because we did that a couple of years back. It's a fine house, but it was not worth waiting in line, and that's the big thing. If you are going to Hollow Scream in Tampa, you're probably going to want to pick up the front of the line pass, which is a very expensive for tonight. It was like $89 for the pass. Um, so you probably see a bunch of people that did have media and got the front of the line pass for free um, that will say, you know, the houses were great and everything. But um, I just want to emphasize if you are going to Bush Gardens Hollow Scream, you're going to be waiting and waiting and then waiting some more in lines. Um, it is uh, It is very packed and they don't necessarily conga line everybody in the same way that um, Halloween Horror Nights does at Universal. Fiends was awesome again as always I love Fiends and wait for that show every year um, and uh, we didn't get to catch the Rolling Bones their sets ended before we made our way over that way so maybe next time but in any event 
Thanks a lot for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys.